Is Delaware the first state? The answer can be found on the very state quarter that heralds Delaware as the first state. The coin depicts Caesar Rodney on his horse riding to Independence Hall to break the state's one-to-one -one tie vote on independence. On July 2, 1776, Delaware, voting two delegates to one, joined 11 other colonies in declaring independence from Great Britain. Two days later, on July 4, 1776, these 12 states, with New York abstaining, passed a second resolution declaring independence that named their new republic the United States of America. To this day, all 50 states mark July 4, 1776 as the birth date of the United States of America. Therefore, it stands to reason that the first state who voted for independence has the right to claim it is the first state to form the United States of America. The manuscript seen here of the July 2nd vote used on the floor at Independence Hall reports the order in which the states declared their independence from Great Britain. It was the colony of New Hampshire, not Delaware, that was the first to vote for independence, thus the first state to join the new United States of America Republic. Now, proponents for Delaware argue that their state also voted for independence on July 2nd, 1776. So, the true statehood order falls to the state ratification of the U.S. Constitution and not the resolution for independency. Therefore, Delaware, not New Hampshire, was the first state to ratify the Constitution on December 7, 1787, and it is the first state. The challenge to this argument is rooted in the fact that the current U.S. Constitution, ratified by Delaware in 1787, was not the first Constitution of the United States of America. On November 15, 1777, 13 states united in the U.S. Continental Congress approved the Articles of Confederation, the nation's first Constitution. Unlike the July 2, 1776 Resolution for Independency, the Articles required unanimous ratification by all the states for enactment. Therefore, it is Virginia, not Delaware, that has the right to claim it was the first state under the first U.S. Constitution. New Hampshire, the first state under the 1776 Resolution for Independency, ratified the Article 7 on March 4, 1778 while Delaware, the first state under the second U.S. Constitution, was the 12th state ratifying the Articles on February 1, 1779. The reason for this first state confusion is exemplified in the Delaware State Quarter that shows Caesar Rodney writing to formulate the United States in 1776 while claiming Delaware's ratification of the Constitution 11 years later on December 7, 1787 gives them the right to claim the first state status. This confusion stems from the fact that the United States of America was actually the product of four different republics. The first United American Republic, the United Colonies of North America, governed by a colonial continental congress, had no first state, as they remained loyal to the crown and British colonies. The second United American Republic, the United States of America, formed by the Resolution for Independency on July 2, 1776, and governed by the U.S. Continental Congress, had a first state, and it was New Hampshire. The third United American Republic, the Perpetual Union of the United States of America, governed by the United States in Congress assembled under the Articles of Confederation, also had a first state, and it was Virginia. Finally, the fourth United American Republic, the current United States of America governed by the U.S. Congress, a President, and the Supreme Court under the Constitution of 1787, also had a first state, and it was Delaware. So, if you're inclined to believe that the United States of America commenced in 1776, then New Hampshire has the bragging rights of being the first state. If, however, you maintain that the United States of America commenced on March 1, 1781, under the Articles of Confederation, then Virginia is your choice for the first state. Finally, 
If you are of the mind that the United States of America commenced on March 4, 1789 with the enactment of the Constitution of 1787, then Delaware definitely is the first state. I, for one, maintain that the birth of the United States of America occurred in 1776 and that New Hampshire, be it only for a minute, was the first colony to declare its independence from Great Britain, making it, not Delaware, the first state. For more information on U.S. Firsts, please visit our primary source exhibits at www.historic.us. This is Stan Close, and thank you for webbing in.